I mean, I'm doing some dancing because of this warm temperatures that we've been having after a really freezing start to the week. You know, I, it was really cold and today I think you said we hit 70 degrees. Is mm -hmm. that right? Yeah, some areas hit 70 more areas could hit 70 tomorrow. So we are going to continue to see a warming trend. Did have a few showers around today, so maybe you spotted this. Got several pictures in of a rainbow. This one from Jamie Palmer out at City Park. So we had a mixed bag of weather. We had some rainfall early this morning. We got some sunshine and then we had some rain again into the evening. And I do like to break this out now. We're 59 days away until the official start of spring, but we may be getting our first taste of it as we continue to go into the rest of the weekend because our warming trend going to continue. There will be a few showers around on Sunday. Most areas are going to stay dry until we see this cold front arrive on Monday and then our rain chances will really be going up. So conditions are quiet for us now. We do have some cloud cover that will continue to build in tonight and then what we're watching is this cold front that's still well out toward the west. We're we're going to get a lot of moisture filling in across our area. So once that front arrives, that's going to be our focus for some rain chances. The timing mainly as we go into Monday morning. I'll time it out for you here as we go into the evening. We'll continue to see flow from the Gulf of Mexico that will warm our temperatures up and we'll get some cloud cover throughout the day. Isolated shower not out of the question as we go into Monday, though. Keep in mind as you're heading out the door, we do have this cold front that's going to be moving through. Morning commutes look OK. It's as we go into the later parts of the morning. So this is 7 o'clock. Maybe if you're heading toward the Baton Rouge area, you'll be running into some of that rainfall early by around 9 o'clock and continuing through the late morning. We'll see the shower activity building through through the early afternoon hours before it finally pushes out. A few isolated thunderstorms not out of the question as well. You could hear some rumbles of thunder. Rain chances a 20% for your Sunday, up to a 60% on Monday, but then here's your Tuesday. Drier air will continue to move in. So with all the moisture moving in from the Gulf of Mexico, some patchy fog could be a concern. Uh, into Sunday morning, we could see a little bit of that, especially across uh, the North Shore and coastal Mississippi. It burns off and then by the early morning hours on Monday, we could see a little bit more widespread fog, so that may be the concern going for your morning commutes before the rainfall arrives in the late morning. We mentioned the warm temperatures today it did get up to 71 at the Kenner Airport, 70 in Homa for most mid to the upper 60s. We're going to continue this warming trend, though, going into Sunday. Right now, temperatures aren't too bad where the past several days we were already below freezing by this point. It's nice to still see some low to mid 50s, 48 in Bogalusa, 56 in Bell Chase down toward Galliano as well. Mostly cloudy sky tonight, upper 40s, low to mid 50s. Again, some patchy fog not out of the question. Mostly cloudy for your Sunday, mid 60s to the low 70s, and I'm still going to carry that slight 20% rain chance, but those rain chances will really bump up as we go into Monday. Once the cold front passes through, we do see some temperatures dropping, but notice no freezing temperatures over the next seven days. We'll watch our next rain chance start to return for next weekend.